If you don't understand the condition of our people, why we're destroyed, shot down in the streets. My brother, my brother, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Yes. Come over here, come over here. Take a look at this sign over here. Yes, sir. Where do you find yourself? Where's your father? So on the right side are the names that we have in captivity right now. On the left side are the names that God gave us. You're Judah. You are the tribe of Judah. You are an Israelite. Yes, sir. My son-in-law is an Israelite. All praise, all praise. He's with the United States Christ. Oh, he's with his United in Christ. Oh, in Memphis. Yeah. Okay, all praise, all praise. I'm sure he's talked to you a little bit about this. Talked to me all the time. All praise. So, as an Israelite, you know what's required of you, right? Yes, sir. What is required of you? To love God, be a father, take care of yourself. Get that. You know, be a man in the community. Am I right? There's, there's some in there. Right. We don't get to the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right. So we are to fear his name. We are to fear his judgments. Understand that he put us in captivity. He put cha he caused chains to be put around our necks. He caused a nation that hates us to now reign over us. A God that can do all of these things to us, we should be afraid, very afraid of that God. Very, very afraid of put, uh, being on his bad side, right? Read. Verse 13, to keep the commandments of the Lord. And to keep on the Lord's good side, to keep from... That, uh, that God of terrors to that name to be put on us, for judgments to be put on us as a people. What should we do? Read that 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. We must keep the commandments of the Lord for our good. All of these things that are written in this Bible are for our benefit. Give me numbers. Numbers 15. Let's get one example. We can get one example of the laws that are for our good. Read that. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So one law, one commandment that God gave to us is that we wear fringes in the borders of our garments. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Read. Throughout their generations. Throughout our generations. Our forefathers even before this time, and even during this time. You see this right here? Yes. Those are our Native American brothers. Exactly. Bring it on. They understood what the law said. Exactly. They understood that they should wear fringes on their garments. Bring it on. We've gotten away from that yes. for many generations. Yes. It's supposed Run. to be for generation to generation. Right. But now that we know that we're the Israelites, we can start it back up again. Yes. That's why we're still in captivity. Right. Because we fell away from these things. Right. This is the least commandment. A very simple right. thing that you can do. Right. Right. We should do it. Right. If you believe in God. Right. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That is what it's for. It's not a fashion statement. We look at these things and we remember all the commandments of the Lord. You remember that you're a son of God. You remember that there are laws to govern your behavior so that you're not falling to the wayside. We are not put back in captivity. You understand that you're meant for greatness. There are laws that you ought to keep. That's what these uh, these fringes are for. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Give a listen to this. So this is dealing with honor, right? How we honor each other, how we honor God, right? Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. Oh, a lot of sisters don't like that one. But it says the head of every man is Christ. All right, that is that is our leader, right? Christ is our leader, our king, right? Read. Our front man. 
the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. When a man's head is Christ, he's able to lead a woman in righteousness. So a lot of these women out here having no head, having no heads of protection, having no leadership, they're going to the wayside. They're having babies out of wedlock, three, four, five babies without ever marrying anybody. That ought not to be so because they have no head. But when your head is Christ, you can lead a woman in righteousness. You can marry a woman. And y'all can have uh, many, many children in wedlock. Bring it up. You form a good family that way. That's good. This is the order, read. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So, knowing that Christ is your head, any man praying or prophesying, having his head uncovered, having his head covered, dishonor is his head. Hey. Yeah, take it off. A simple thing like that is change in our community. Many of our brothers will hear a word and say, ah, forget about it. But you gave a listen and you made the change. That's what all of our people need to do. Bring it out. We took Negro opinion. <laughs> we real Negro opinion. But um, is that what you can grow on your head? Yeah, I, I'm growing. That's all you no got. More. That's it. That's, That's it. all you I got. I get my beard. You get out here. But I, I'm checking it out. Okay, give me all Leviticus 21. That's right. We gonna bring it out anyway. Right. Just, just bear this in mind. Because uh, any of your brothers who like to wax their head, like to get the uh, the what is it, the the Michael Jordan. Right, yeah, the, the, the Charles Barkley, the Shaq. Yeah. Bring it up. No, nah, we ought not to be that way. Right. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it up. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So, you're okay because your hair just doesn't grow. Right, it don't grow. Not anymore. <laughs> right, that's understandable. Right. But brothers who purposely bald their head, okay. that's against the laws of God. Yeah. They're in sin. Right. That's the crime. Well, and that's right. What was that second part? Read. They shall not make baldness upon their head, uh -huh. neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. And also they should not shave off their beard. Right. Your, your beard is short. Yeah, yeah, I still see that you have it. Yeah, I just that's cool. Yeah, yeah. But understand, many of our brothers for for a, like a job interview, he gonna shave it off and make the uh, the the baby the smooth face. Right, right. No, that's not that's not what we should be doing as people. There are only two types of people that don't have hair on their face. Those are women and those are children. But you're a man, so-called black man. You should not be shaving off. Your beard. Yes, yes. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. Oh, you know what?